to the NUS Orbital 2016 registration walkthrough. First, you will need to visit the Orbital website at orbital.comp.nus.edu.sg. Find the Skylab tab, which is the first tab on the left. When you've reached Skylab, you need to go to the Login button on the right. From here, you'll be given a login menu. Instead of filling out the default email and password to log in, you should first sign up with uh, NUS. Pressing the Login with NUS ID will bring you to an open ID page where you can key in your NUS Net ID and your password. I'm going to show you how to register for Orbital as a single student, that is, without a team member. This is for students who want to participate in Orbital but don't have a teammate in mind yet. First, after you've logged in, you should see a screen similar to the one here, with your name shown in this part of the screen. You will have to first press uh, the registration form button. Here you can Complete your profile either by pressing this button first to give more details about yourself, such as your GitHub link, LinkedIn link, or blog link, or a self-introduction. Once you fill this in, you can go and fill out the rest of the form that's mandatory. Okay, so you have to indicate your level of interest in Orbital, so perhaps I'm definitely signing up, what level of uh, achievement I'm interested in. Here, even if you're not sure of the correct level, just guess Okay, whether you think you have um, interest to complete the beginner, intermediate, or advanced project. Okay, um, You don't have to worry about mentorship for now. We may be changing this. Uh, but if you're interested in mentorship, please indicate that you're taking up the advanced with mentorship. Actually, this will apply to both Apollo 11 and Project Gemini. You also need to indicate whether you're going to be overseas for any period of time. The rest of these questions are all for helping match students and teams to other teams and students. Please fill those out as appropriate. So for example, if you're trying to do the beginning project that we'll teach you a little bit of, you should indicate Python and Google App Engine as the two for this level. Of course, you may indicate other things that you feel are useful. You can leave any topic that you're not sure about blank, but the more things you fill in, the better it will be in matching. Okay? You're not held to these. These are just tags to indicate some type of interest, just like you would indicate on, let's say, a dating application. So maybe I want to participate in Orbital for fun and maybe do it as part of a student club uh, type of work and as a hackathon. Okay, maybe I'm not particularly interested in embedded systems because Raspberry Pi, Arduino, and Internet of Things don't appeal to me, and I'm not interested in writing a game and a content management framework. Uh, maybe I don't use any of those. And the topics I'm thinking of is, let's say, uh, youth and adults. Okay, at this point, you are finished if you are a single student. Okay. At a later date, we will have a matchmaking session to help you find a suitable teammate, and we will promote all of the users who have registered to actual students in the cohort. At that time, more information will be available in Skylab.
Now we're going to show you how to extend that single student registration for team membership. So this part of the video is for people who want to register with a teammate. The first team member should register just like us in the first part by filling in the registration form right here. You can still modify it if you want to. Okay, complete whatever you need and submit. After that, you'll see this tag at the beginning, which says you haven't invited a teammate yet. So you can do that now. Okay, first we have to provide another teammate's address. Before we can do that, we need to register another member so that their email is captured by the system. I'm going to move this browser to the other side of my screen while I register another user. After that user has logged in through NUSNet, you can come back to the registration form. Okay. Here, we can do the same process as we did for the first person. You don't have to select the same topics, but you can if you'd like. At this point, both users are registered. In order to invite a teammate onto your team, one of you must know the team email, uh, teammate email of the other person. You can see that by going to either one of your screens and selecting the user details tab, which will show you the email address that you registered for with if you've forgotten. In this case, I've sent an invitation to my friend to participate in Orbital with me. Now when I reload the page for the second student, you can see there has been an invitation to this team with the student who invited me. Okay, so I can confirm or decide that I don't want to participate with this person. Okay, if I reject it, okay, coming back here, you will see this person's invitation has been revoked and it will revert back to the part where they haven't invited a teammate. Let's try this again. Perhaps my team member didn't understand the invitation process. At this point, both screens show the same thing. It says, we have registered you and your teammates' interest in Orbital. You're all done, okay? So just like in the first single student case, you will be able to register a team and provide more details about your project closer to the start of Orbital. This registration is just a registration of interest and does not necessarily mean that you'll be accepted for Orbital. It's only uh, guaranteed in the case of SOC students who are SOC first year students or minors in CS with another faculty. For all other students interested in Orbital, we will be able to register you when there is enough room. We have to, of course, serve our own faculty students first.